saw Coach Dale Brown in here just remind me of all the games. Uh, when I was here as an assistant with Coach Richardson, we just had some, we had some crazy games. They just, and they all ended up kind of like that there. And uh, it, it reminded me of that tonight. Uh, what a hard fought game. And uh, we forced you to come out on the right side of it. And, uh, LSU had a lot of things going for them going down the stretch. Uh, but I thought the resilience of our guys. We had Daniel fouled out. We had uh, Jalen Harris fouled out. Gabe was a boy. So I'm out there with some really young guys. Uh, but I thought those guys, they hung together and found a way to win. Uh, made big plays. I mean, not many games you're going to get out of rebound about 20. Uh, and that's what happened. They shot 38 free throws. We shot 11. And we found a way to win. So evidently, we, we did something good. And I think we shot the ball well. So. Uh, Hats off to my guys. And, and LSU, we all have a great, great team. We know that. Uh, we were just fortunate. We were just fortunate tonight. They came in and stole one in Fayetteville. And so we were able to come here and uh, you guys steal them when you can. If you have a question, can you raise your hand, please? And we have a microphone to you. Yeah, Mike, how you doing? Hey, uh, you seem to play better in February. Things start to come together for you almost every February. What well, is it? About that, I know this is an extremely young game, but does that kind of this year the story? It's always been the formula, uh, you know, Ron. We you know, early on we got so many new pieces, and you know, the experience they gained the non-conference, and even as we pumped our heads coming into conference play, uh, eventually they started figuring it out. You know, uh, they uh, today I thought we was on the shoulders of Dan to get us started, Dan Gafford to get us started, and then we had some key about uh, Jalen Harris. I thought that was one of his better starts. We had a good start in this game here. I thought our guys felt confident. And then you get big productivity from a guy like Keyshawn Henry. I just talked to him about that. You may have a breakout game. But he's been playing, practicing well, and shooting ball well in practice. And, and it was needed. But that's, to me, that's always been the formula uh, to build toward this time of year and you know, play some of your better basketball. Hey, Mike. Uh, the game got kind of scramble mode when they were coming back in the second half. What did you think of what was going on there? And you mentioned the foul discrepancy. Can you speak to that too? Well, I thought I thought our guys, you know, we want to be quick but not in a hurry. I mean, we want to run and want to execute. And uh, obviously, we, we had a lead, and uh, and I thought LSU did a good job of getting more aggressive. And we had some plays where you know you're pushing down and nothing there. You might all just bring it back down and, and, and execute. But we were trying to make the home run play. I, I just remember one play in particular. It's 16, 17 point game, and I think Mason Jones gets a steal. And we just pull up and shoot as opposed to making them play defense. So that's the learning curve of a young basketball team. Uh, and so, but we'll learn from those situations. And uh, it is what it is when you talk about the foul. I just thought uh, uh, we called a timeout one time. We had called a timeout. I thought somebody just dove on one of our guys. And, uh, but that's life on the road. So, uh, like I said, we're just fortunate tonight. They're shooting their paint awful, awful well. And they, they're a really good basketball team. Uh, we just, we have enough in the tank uh, to finish it off. Coach, here in the back, uh, what did you tell your guys as LSU took the lead near the end of the game and for you guys to be able to hold out and get the win? Just don't panic. I thought the panic. Don't, don't panic. We were shooting one and one, and uh, we wanted to put the ball in Mason Jones' hand. It was in one of the freshmen hand early on. And I think they either got a jump ball or they had a call timeout or something like that. Uh, but we wanted in Mason hand to, to make a play between he and uh, Adriel or uh, the more emotional Mason. And uh, he was able to penetrate and, and, and make a play. Uh, the thing was, don't panic. And then they got the ball now. They're going down the other end. we got to make plays on defense. But I thought the pressure really shifted now. Now they've got to make that shot because they, they're supposed to win. They're supposed to beat us here. Uh, so I got just hung in there and hung in there. And, uh, again, we just, we just had enough fuel in the tank to to win the game. They, they missed a the shot there at the end. Uh, they had a layup, really. They missed. And uh, we were able to tip it. We actually had it. We threw it to them, back to them. Uh, and we had time out. So, so we'll watch the tape and we'll learn from it. But uh, I'll say again, I, I, I love it because these guys, they never went away. Even when those guys filed out, we had other guys come in and Reggie Cheney come in and play. But those guys, as Ron was talking about, they're a little bit better than they were in, in uh, early January or December. A little more season. Hey, Coach, how are you doing? Okay. LSU has that one point lead, and Waters tries the improbable alley. Usually, it looked like. How much of a shocker was that to you when you saw that play? 
And we tried it too, so it, it, it didn't surprise me. We tried it as well. And this guy's trying to make plays. It's something he saw that, that wasn't there. And uh, we were just fortunate. Coach, you got time for one more question? Yeah. Mike, how important was the three point shooting tonight? Having Joe back it with more, you know, more stamina in every sense? I thought it was big because I thought it allowed Dan to, to operate inside. Because, you know, everybody's packing in on Dan. And he's been, you know, Isaiah's been puny for the last two games, two and a half games. And so, so it was good to see him come out and knock some shots down early. And, uh, I thought it was big. <coughs> Keyshawn came in and did the same thing. Uh, I thought that was a big key in this game. And we don't shoot the ball well. Uh, again, you look at the stats, man. It's like there's no way. Uh, with 18, 15, 18 turnovers, they had 21. Uh, they out rebound is about, they got 18, 19 offensive rebounds. I think we got 20 as a team. Again, I just go back to those days of Coach Dale Brown and Noah Richardson's crazy, crazy game. That's what we saw today. But we saw two teams that were competing. I thought that's what it was.